cats. Okay, all right. Right, it's a hypothetical quantum cat. By the way, do you know cats on the internet uh, took a steep rise the same year that Cats on Broadway closed? The, the music really? Room. Yes. Check your data on that. That is a weird little. So fact we need tour. somebody. We need somebody to investigate that because where did those cats go? Is what. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like 1990. You know, early internet. You know, uh, and cats closes on Broadway, and so I think people needed their cat fix, and it landed on the internet. Landed but anyhow, internet. so here we go. Now the superposition. De the details of that experiment are more are more intricate than than what I'm describing to you. Because what they wanted was to have like a uh, something that's radioactive that would decay, and then that would then trigger a, a gate that would open the box. You know, it's a little more Rube Goldbergian than what I'm describing. But just to be clear, if you don't look in the box, you do not know if the cat is alive or dead. So the Schrodinger's cat is, you're talking about something that you don't know about, 